Hey Corey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei. Just wanted to record you a quick little video review, kind of give you some pointers on what you can do when you build out your site. You know, I know you don't currently have a website going, but your Facebook page I've got pulled up here. You know, it looks really good. You do have 115 people following your page. You've got some good before and after pictures. You know, logo looks nice. You know, the Facebook page you've got looks really, really good. Um, one of the things that I, well, actually three things that I like to talk about when you put your website together is content, backlinks, and citations. Um, with content, we recommend about 1,500 words on your home page, and then about 500 to 750 on your back pages, like your service pages with all the different things that you offer. Basically, the reason we do that with Google content is king. They want to know that when somebody searches, you know, pressure washing Tupelo, Mississippi, that they're gonna find sites that are relevant to that so you want to get the right type of keywords into your website and you don't want to overdo it on the keywords but you want to get them in there you want to get them in there organically which is why we like to see a lot of content on the home page so you've got plenty of space to put those keywords in there and make them flow um, i pulled up a couple of the local guys um, elite pro wash you know looking at their site it's not a bad looking site but there's really nothing here. You know, this content right here is all they've got. You know, they've got a few pictures. You know, they do have some back service pages. But as far as them being able to get the keywords and things in here that they really need, they're just not there. You know, they're, they are showing up, which is good, but their website could use a lot of work. One of the other ones here, you know, they've got a little bit more content on there, but they still don't have a lot. The site looks good, but... Google doesn't see all of the pictures and things like that. They only actually see the text. And as you can see here, you know, they've got some stuff that's kind of overlapping on their page and things like that. You know, just little things, um, little things that they need to touch up. But one of the tools that we use to really break these things down is a tool called Arifs. You know, right now these guys are only showing up for 13 keywords. And most of them are their company name, as you can see, Elite, Elite, Elite. You know, they don't have, you know, vinyl siding. They don't really do vinyl siding. They wash vinyl siding. So it might not be a bad keyword to have, but it's really not bringing them any traffic, as you can see right here. There's 20 people a month that search that search term, and zero of them go to these guys' website, and they're in the 50th position. Um, pro wash, pressure washing, you know, that's still part of their name. These people that are looking up elite or pro wash, you know, they probably already know who these guys are. You know, roof cleaning systems might not be a bad one, but they're still not really getting any traffic for that. I like to see more of what I call the generic keywords. And that's going to be, you know, like right here it says pressure washing. You know, pressure washing, city, state. That's what I like to see on your keywords because it's generic. It's what people are searching for when they type into Google if they don't know what company they're looking for. You know, if we go over here, you know, these guys have 61 keywords. But looking, they still don't have a lot of city specific, you know, they've got Christmas lights in your area, you know, but, you know, hood equipment, well, they probably clean hood equipment, but they don't actually sell it, you know, so they're really not getting traffic for that either. These guys really don't have the type of keywords that I look for either. The other thing that I would like to talk about are your citations. I know you do have a Google My Business page, which is great. Um, but your citations are what are going to help you get up here in this map pack. I would really like to see you find an address in the city that you want to that you really want to market to, and see if we can get you another GMB set up there. Um, the way that we can do that, it would need to have a separate email address and a separate phone number. But if you could get an address that we could use there just to get the um, card from Google, then we could start adding citations and stuff to that address and try to get you up here in this map pack. Seeing that only two of these guys even have a website, you know, if you scroll down through here and look, you know, one of the first actual pressure washing companies that comes up is a Facebook page and Elite shows up fourth. So we, this shouldn't be terribly hard to get above these guys show up in this map pack and get organically on this first page. Uh, we use a tool called WhiteSpark to look up citations. I use New Albany for yours. Um, you're currently showing up with with 21. One of the things that we like to do is go in there when we take over for somebody's marketing and add about 100 citations to that, just blow these other guys out of the water. But in the Tupelo area, you know, Elite has eight, Exterior has 17, and 
what that is is basically going into these different directories and getting your information listed the same way that it's listed on your Google My Business page. You know, you can go in yellowpages.com, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's hundreds of them out there. The third thing would be the backlinks. And, you know, backlinks are a popularity contest. You know, the more backlinks you have, the better. You do want to keep them relevant to the industry that you're working in. You know, a backlink to Pizza Hut, unless you're cleaning Pizza Hut restaurants, really isn't, you know, a great backlink to have. It's not going to do you a lot of good. But some of your citations will give you backlinks. Um, you can go into different blogs about pressure washing or maybe even community blogs in the area. You know, if they have a blog about cleaning up the community or something like that, you know, go in there, read some of the articles, post some comments, put a link back to your site. Get back to their overview page real quick. Okay, these guys have 28 backlinks. One of the things that we can do is go in and see where their backlinks are coming from. And I call it the copycat method. You know, we find the guy in the area that has the most backlinks and we go in and try to get backlinks to the same on the same pages they have. And then go from there and add more to yours so that you're beating them out. Um, we typically try to double the number that they have and just go in there and get as many backlinks for you guys as we can. It does take time, but it is something that you could totally do if you really wanted to put the effort into it. I did go ahead and pull up some of the keywords. There's not a lot of traffic in that area for pressure washing, you know, but this is the type of keyword I really look for. And I would have to do a lot more research to check out the other areas and see where we can get, you know, where we can get you in and where the traffic is coming from. But this is what I consider the generic keyword, you know, pressure washing, what you do and where you're at. Right now, there's only 10 people a month that are searching that exact term. Um, these down here are saying zero to 10. So people are searching them, but not, not a lot, but we do have, you know, pressure washing companies and someone that does pressure washing equipment for, you know, pressure washing for restaurant equipment. So there are some keywords out there that people are searching. I would just have to search a lot of the other areas to really find out exactly where where they're looking and what they're looking for so we can get those type of keywords onto your site. But just for the quick overview, you know, when you build out your site, about 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage, 500 to 750 on your back pages. Citations, go out there and get in as many of those directories as you can to get showing up in that map pack. Backlinks, like I said, some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog coming. There's lots of different ways to do it. It just takes a lot of time. You know, I think that'll wrap it up, but just want to say thanks for your time and I hope to hear from you. Talk to you later. Thank you.